So now that we're into our programs a little bit more heavily now, we know how to do output, we know how to do handle variables, which is a pretty complex topic. Um, we're going to get into some more uh, advanced topics as we go on, but before we can get into those, we need to know a key concept that happens in a lot of programming. The ability to convert data from one type to another type. That's actually a pretty handy tool because, um, for example, the most used version of this is whenever you're trying to get data from the user. So they're typing in something, you read it in, and you use it for some other purpose. The thing is, whenever we get data from the user in form of uh, keyboard input, it always comes to us as programmers in the form of text or a string. Now, that's fine, except for the fact, what if we want to do math on that? So, for example, if we ask them the radius of a circle. Well, if we try and calculate uh, the circumference of a circle using a string, we're not going to get a whole lot of good results out of that. So we got to make sure that the data types uh, work out. So we need to be able to convert from one type to another. Now, of course, we got to be careful about that. So, for example, if I have an integer, and I try and convert the word boat to an integer, I'm going to get an error. So let's say, for example, we asked the user for the radius of a circle, and they read the label wrong, and they wrote in the word boat. Well, that's odd, but they might have done that. So our program needs to be able to make sure that it uh, is converting the right type of data to a valid type. Okay. So for example, if they typed in, let's say 37, 37 could easily be converted to an integer. Not a problem. But what if they type in something like 54.3? Can that be converted? Well, yeah, it can. It's just going to happen in a few different ways. So there's a lot of different types of conversion that we're going to look at. Um, we're going to look at something called the convert object. We're going to look at something called casting. And we're going to look at another, another command which is much more advanced, something called try parse. Okay, so these three will have, each one will have their own module. Um, so an example that I'm going to use throughout these uh, throughout these modules is just to keep the numbers simple. I'm going to make up this example where, let's say for um, you're creating a program that gave students their mark report, and inside that mark report it listed off all the assignments and their grade for each one, and then up at the top it listed off their current overall mark. Now, in some cases, um, you may see something that's very precise. You may see something like this, 87.8. In other cases, we may never see that decimal place, which is more often likely the case. So how do we deal with that? Well, that's what's going to happen when we decide what type of converting we're going to use. So now that you know what converting is, you know the uh, analogy that we're actually going to work with, let's actually give it a go. Uh, 